Hey guys, Luton here. Oh look, it's the footage you've seen already. How exciting! I'm gonna try and stay positive through this. <clears throat> I really am. Um, <laughs> you're wondering why I haven't made this video already. I just was like, look, you know, I uh, I'll talk about it later and so on and so on. I, you know, guys kind of know that I'm feeling sort of fairly on the level about this. It's it's looking like fine. And, uh, you know, I, I think the trouble is, like, you have to be really crazy about Star Wars to really sort of get the, the hype feel for this game. And it's like, I'm fine with Star Wars, but I have been watching it a lot, like, since I was a kid. You know, Star Wars is something that you have seen a lot of, and I have also played a lot of Star Wars games. And there's one problem for me with Star Wars games, and that is that all the stuff in them is the same. And it's like... So much of the things you've seen here, you have seen in one variant or another in other Star Wars stuff. And it's all great and it all looks cool, but you know, something that one of the, a lot of the guys in my squad were saying about this was it's very much feeling like it's Battlefield with Star Wars. And despite the fact that they have proclaimed this not to be the case, it 100% feels like that to me when I look at it. And, you know, it's all cool, sounds are cool, the graphics are cool, look at this guy running around, do you want to play third person, do you want to play first person, Battlefront, uh, it's all very nice, all very good, um, and the, you know, static uh, AC-130 walking along there, um, it's fine, so I've got the uh, gigantic boob gun on the left there as well, sorry, that's, I, uh, I, I turned into Pine Star for a minute, sorry Pine, sorry. Um, <laughs> The constant uh, Battlefront style of things as well with the um, you know non-ADS and the rechargeable gun which always feels a little bit like um, the recharge on that always feels a little bit like Space Marine to me and Space Marine when you have like the plasma gun weapons and they have the exact kind of like cooldown reheat thing going on there. One hit RPG right there. And here we come up to the Rush MCOM to activate that. So here we go. Rush MCOM activated. Got that. Good job guys. Well played. On to the next one. Uh, this is supposed to also be one of the largest maps that they were saying, and um, we seem to have moved through it pretty quickly. This is actually, this this mode right here is feeling very much like Bad Company 2 Rush with the sort of cinematic sequences between. So it's like rush up, run up, get the MCOM, a little bit of cinematic, move on to the next one. Which is something I wanted back in uh, Battlefield for the longest time. Oh yeah, here we go. This is uh, going to be super fun time. Ah, oh, feel that. That'll be great fun when you're on the ground, you know. You'll just be on the ground like, okay guys, let's go. Oh, oh shit. Okay, respawn. Um, this stuff right here. I'm curious about how difficult they're going to make the speed of control and whether they're going to have uh, the sort of flying combat, if it's going to feel very Battlefield or if it's going to feel very much more like Battlefront. Um, so it's going to be curious to see. Uh, basically what I don't want to have is I don't want to have endless looping battles as always is the case in Battlefield. I don't want to be, I want to be doing this. I want to be flying around shooting stuff on the ground. I don't want to be stuck in an endless loop, you know, cycle just flying around and around and around. Um, press the button to leap that guy, so he's going down straight away. So, you know, uh, there goes another walker, he's down. It has, it has been taken out. I hope this video is actually able to go up as well, because most Battlefront footage that I've tried to uh, post or comment on up to this point has been flagged and taken down by EA. So uh, hopefully we can actually have this one today. Not to mention, I'm terrified about the soundtracks for um, Star Wars, because the soundtracks are going to be something that gets horribly copyright, you know, flagged. Uh, so for a YouTube producer, very similar to Hardline, uh, trying to post footage with that audio in could be a real problem for people. Um, but you guys don't need to worry about that. That's a YouTuber worry. That's, that's nothing you need to be worried about. I was quite impressed with this little bit coming up right here, though. I like this. When he goes into the valley, look at that sort of speed and the, you know, the nimble reaction of the, of the fighters. I really like that. That looked really good because it wasn't sluggish. It was very, like, reactionary and, like, flick, flick, flick. You know, he's getting through there. I also like this bit here. This bit was one of the bits that I enjoyed the most where he's kind of running along. There's lots of stuff happening. There's firing going on. And you can see, of course, that the rebels, they're not all humanoids, so you've got different alien races coming in here. That's kind of cool as well. Um... We've got the jetpacks going on. I like the fact that the jetpacks are very strong little bursts like that. Um, he's got his shield down. As I say, this is one of the bits that I really liked uh, from watching this tutorial. This is where I started to get more of a feel for the game and was starting to feel less cynical was this little bit of combat right here. And then it got to this point and I was like, oh no, someone got... Oh, surprise! It's the guy you didn't expect. Oh. Should I do my E3 impression? Ah! E3, woo! The people. Yeah, it's like the whole of E3 in one phrase right there. Look at that force powers there. Amateur Jedi Luke Skywalker. You never finished Jedi school, Luke. 
Um, and then we go on to the next one. So now we've got um, Battlefront Zombies. Battlefront Zombies is going to be this mission here where you basically fight waves of stormtroopers like COD Zombies. Um, I was never a massive fan of COD Zombies. Um, it was fine. But uh, seeing COD Zombies in Battlefront is, I suppose, a, a good way of getting around making a whole campaign. It means that they can sort of throw something at you that's extra beyond the multiplayer without having to make an entire campaign. A lot of people were a bit disappointed that there wasn't a whole campaign, though. And I, I kind of tend to agree, actually. I'm never a, a massive one for FPS campaigns, mainly because the dialogue is normally about as terrible as like a, a TV film or something like that. But um, it would have been really nice to actually have like a little bit of a campaign campaign in here but the thing is I think maybe DICE kind of uh, maybe took on the, some of the community there because the, the community for Battlefield for the longest time been saying don't make single player don't make single player don't make single player so of course when they don't make a single player everyone's like you didn't make a single player <laughs> so yeah I feel kind of bad for DICE from that perspective this game though is looking obviously so futuristic in its style because it's Star Wars it was of course going to be that way uh, one of the sort of feelings I also got from this in a little bit aspect was slightly kill zone ish if some of the combat here and some of the shooting feels slightly you know, kill zone. I'm a big kill zone player, I played it for the longest time. And some of the shooting towards there is going to be, you know, in that style. But there's going to be sort of relatively minimal customization for the weapons. Uh, there's just the constant hip firing like this. And, you know, so it starts to make the question once people get past the hype phase, I wonder how many of the true, for example, uh, Battlefield YouTube producers are going to continue to make uh, sort of footage of this because it makes me question sort of how that combat is going to be. And it's going to be interesting to sort of see how that goes along. It's going to be interesting to see how the general community community audience receives it as well. I imagine from the outset it's going to be very fun and it's going to be some good action going on. I mean from what I've seen there it looks pretty decent. Got that split screen there guys. You know you want that split screen. Um, but overall I'm just kind of like I'm not 100% sure on the longevity of this game. The Battlefront community, of course, are going to be very excited to have this thing back again, and they're going to be loving the hell out of it. But from a, you know, sort of a more Battlefield player perspective, I'm not sure how strong the Battlefield community is going to feel for it. I'm feeling that like this is definitely going to be a game that will tide you over until the next Battlefield game, which should be coming into 2016, uh, which is obviously not being produced by uh, DICE uh, Stockholm. Uh, so it's going to be curious to see how that one goes down. It's going to be curious to see how that game is designed and, and put together. Um, but as a game like this, uh, it's going to be fine. But again, I think from one perspective, this is definitely going to be a game which uh, handles a public combat situation a lot better than Battlefield. Because, as you can see here, your ability to literally just run around hip-firing anything you see is going to lend itself very well to people who don't necessarily think too much about anything beyond that because right now in Battlefield if you run around just hit firing targets whatever you see it doesn't necessarily always go in your favor but this game seems to be a little bit more forgiving and the other thing to remember is that this is obviously a movie tie-in game uh, it's being released alongside the movie and the time scale therein I'm surprised that I've not seen anyone else really question the fact that um, you know it's obviously being produced as a movie tie-in game and therefore it's tied to a schedule like that so there is no ability to sort of put it to one side and say okay we need to make sure we improve this or this it's very much like battlefield 4 coming out on that set target and nothing is going to change that it has to come out then so that means that whatever product they have at that point in time is the product that will be released and you know that could be a concern for people or not the game's looking pretty finished and polished at this point in time so i guess maybe that's nothing to worry about i guess my last thought and it is a slight worry as well is you will remember on one of my previous videos i said that it's been kind of essentially said that this game is being primarily designed with the sort of console market in mind uh, the reason being is that the you know the market share in terms of actual units sold is going to be far significant on consoles than it will be to the PC. With that said, it means that you know they're obviously going to design it to it's it's a fairly simplistic game, and also as I say, it's a movie tying game, which means that they don't want to alienate any part of the market by making the game too difficult to play. They want it to be very engaging. They want it to be very sort of uh, palatable. They want people to be able to just pick up the game and play. They don't want to have a game like Battlefield, which requires you to learn a lot of stuff. And and you know essentially get to grips with lots of different weapons the handling uh, learning those maps inside and out thinking about all these different things they want people to be able to just pick up the game run around blasting which is essentially what has been showcased with this uh, tutorial right here you will have these slightly more adept players who will of course be handling probably more of the vehicles and things like this and you know sort of picking the team up there as well but overall uh, very much like I said on the previous video it's gonna be a fairly straightforward fairly simplistic game from what we have seen and again that could be a concern or nothing to worry about I think as well though a large part of the people that are sort of 
sort of uh, very excited for the game are probably very happy to buy anything which is shiny and has a Star Wars sticker on it. Uh, we have seen this from the fact that it pretty much like, you know, you can make right now any video about Star Wars. I could have made like the most bullshit video about Star Wars today and it would have got as many views for me as probably any other video I make. Um, I'm not going to lie to you about that fact. I'm going to make it absolutely clear. You know, you can pretty much make any video right now and slap a picture of Darth Vader on the front of it and it's like, bam, guaranteed views. Because that's what it's like. People are just happy to watch and get involved with anything that's got Star Wars going on. And you only have to look as well at, you know, gaming news websites for this. They, like, I, I think I linked the other day and it was like GameSpot posted um, an article which was literally about four lines of text. It was like something to do with, uh, I don't know, like visual aesthetics in Star Wars. And it was like there was one quote uh, from one of the guys at DICE and they were like, yeah, this is the thing. And it's like that's the kind of sort of mentality right now of sort of the marketing and advertising aspect that's coming along with this game. The hype fest for the, this game was always going to be massive. But I think even I've been surprised by just how insane it has been up to this point. And it's going to get you know, considerably worse as we go through the year towards the actual release of the game. I think another problem for me is, that, as I've said before, sometimes that marketing hype, you know, bullshit fest gets so extreme that it can potentially sort of spoil the release of the game for you. Because by the time the game actually arrives, you have seen so much and heard so much and looked at so much that it, you know, really can kind of spoil the surprise and the freshness of the game for you. Um, I think I'm almost stuck in a situation where I can't avoid that, but you guys could. Um, I think, unfortunately, we just kind of live in a time now where that's not the case. I think people just aren't interested in you know, maybe sort of staying away from these things. They just want to have the full experience. They just want to know every single detail about it from the word go. Anyway, guys, uh, there's loads more I can talk about this right now. Who knows how it's going to feel when it actually comes out. Uh, I think it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a blasty game. It's going to be Star Wars, Star Wars, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's going to be, look at this, you know, people running around, shoot, blah, lightsabers, blasters. Uh, it's going to be some good Star Wars fun. Drop your thoughts below, guys. I'll see you next time.